Hi everybody, um, welcome back to another Napoleonic painting guide. Um, we're going to have a look at painting some um, Italian troops. So the Kingdom of Italy uh, was allied with France, so using um, French models uh, painted in different colours can represent um, Italians. Um, I've used these Perry miniatures um, and they've been primed with white. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to apply a light shade over the whole model. Um, and that's going to help with a couple of things. One, um, it will um, make a nice off-white colour for the white uniforms. And it's going to pick out all the details which make it a bit easier to see when we paint. Um, I've got Army Painter Light Tone. Um, and I've thinned it in a 1 to 3 ratio with Quick Shade uh, Mixing Medium. Um, the thinner it is, the less... Uh, darkening of that white it's going to do. You could use um, Seraph and Sepia from Games Workshop or a Vallejo um, colour. You could use a contrast paint. Just anything to um, show off the uh, recesses with the wash and change that white colour to a slight off-white to provide a bit of shading. The initial wash has dried. And even though I've used a diluted um, solution of Army Painter Light Tone, you um, can see how that's done a really nice job um, of lining um, around all the different materials um, on the model, the straps, um, and provided nice shading in the recesses um, around the trousers. Um, I'm going to do a highlight um, of the white areas, but we will just give the whole model a dry brush because it's quicker and easier. Um, just white. I've got coat arms white because it's what I've got to hand. When we do have a, a model whose uh, majority of one colour, it is sometimes more straightforward to either prime with that colour um, or paint it first. And if you get a bit messy, it doesn't matter because you'll be painting everything else. Anything to speed up the process. I really wanted to get these white uniforms banged out as, as quick as possible. Um, grand plans. And I need a, a couple of hundred 28mm figures. I'm not going to be too worried about how they look under the microscope. Time to tackle some details. Um, I've got some black. We're going to use this in a few areas. We've got boots and gaiters. Um, we also have our bayonet sheath. Um, shackle and shackle cover. Shackle covers could be um, different colours. Creams, browns, greys, blacks. Um, I'm going to go for black. Um, I think it's a nice contrast, contrast to the white of the uniform. And also it means that I'm just using one colour and I can do all the shackles covered and uncovered. Again, going to help with uh, speed. Um, on the back of the model, <coughs> as well as the, the rear of the bayonet sheath, we've got the cartridge box, um, boots and gaiters, back of the shackle cover. I have some Army Painter Barbarian Flesh to do the skin. We've got the face and the hands to tackle there. Next colour to work with um, is a darker brown. Um, I'm using Vallejo Extra Opaque Heavy Sienna. And this has got a few uses. All of the musket, um, including where we're going to have um, metal work. We've got sideburns and hair. <clears throat> and on the rear of the model, we've got the pack. Um, I'm going to try and leave all the straps white so I don't have to repaint them earlier. It means taking a bit more care. But it saves time in the end. I'll be dealing with the, the basics of the uniform now. 
um, let's consider what makes these um, line infantry come from the Italian uh, 5th Line Infantry Regiment. Um, we need to start thinking about facing colours. This is different for each Italian regiment. But for the 5th, we're looking at red lapels. I've got Army Painter Pure Red. It has been thinned so it flows a bit easier. I'll need a couple of coats probably. And as well as the lapels, um, we've got red cuffs. I'll do that on each of the models and then I will move on to the collars and piping. With some Vallejo Game Colour Sick Green, I'm going to do the cuff flaps. The collar. Also have the edges of the shoulder flaps. <clears throat> Piping on the turnbacks and piping round about the pocket flaps as well. Now we're starting to have a, a uniform come together. Um, we've got some more details um, to do. We do have a, a leather strap um, for the uh, canteen. Uh, which I'm picking out in some Vallejo light brown. Um, this continues round to the back of the model where we have um, the gourd that's serving as the canteen. So I will just do all of that in the light brown as well. The other detail we're going to pick out on the back, um, which I won't show being painted, is the great coat. I'm using Vallejo light grey for that. Um, I will also use it on this bottle here. With the standard acrylics um, all applied now I'm going to do a dry brush with some um, off white. Um, this is Vallejo game colour Elphic Flesh. Um, concentrating on the uh, black areas and the skin um, with this you know, makeup brush and just a gentle dry brush to pick out the, the raised surfaces. A quick and straightforward highlight there. With some Vallejo model colour brass, we're going to pick out all the buttons. Got some um, other details on the uncovered shackles, such as the shackle plate. And the chin strap. There are buttons on the cuffs. Hint of a button on the side of the gaiter as well. Need to tackle the steel on the musket. Army Painter, Plate Mail Metal, Bayonet, Barrel, Lock, all that goodness. For this last wash, I'm not going to douse the whole model. I want to try and keep the um, off-white at the shade that it is and not have to go back and highlight it back up. Um, so I've got some Army Painter Strong Tone. Um, I've thinned that one-to-one -one with Quick Shade Medium. I'm doing the musket. Um, skin, cuffs, facings, um, essentially any areas that aren't white are going to get a bit of wash on them. Excuse my light flickering. We've got them 
based and they've had a coat of army painter anti shine matte varnish and they're uh, alongside uh, another base of the center companies um, so that was a quick guise to churning out some um, Napoleonic Italian infantry of the 5th Line Infantry Regiment. Um, I hope it was a useful video. Um, and it's another way to um, paint white uniforms. Um, lots of different ways to, to paint white and eventually finding one that works for you um, will lead to churning out masses of white uniform troops. Got any comments please leave them down below. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.